Okay, let's do a tutorial on a valve. So we'll be doing in a SOLIDWORKS on my resources a motion tutorial. It has this valve assembly that's already created. So it's a kinematic model. Um, and uh, we will analyze the force, the contact force between this and this when this rotates the when the valve rotates and we'll analyze that okay takes few minutes and let's let's take a look at the full we don't need to make the full assembly because the parts already are there created so when you click when you select um, the folder where you create where they kept the valve it has the old assembly if not this can be also created the assembly so we need SOLIDWORKS motion initially installed okay so I'll show you in a minute so first explore what we have so we have this shaft mount we have rocker we have shaft we have rocker we have this valve and and so on okay, if you expand here we have this standard mates what they have applied now we will study motion study the motion study tab is always here okay so if you click that they created already uh, a, a motion sequence so which is basically there is a motor that is uh, assigned here that motor has right click edit so we can take a look at how, where the where speed the motor is applied so along that face there is 1200 rpm constant speed okay so we're not gonna mess up with that first we'll just see what is in the tutorial okay so it's this is animation so in that case of animation contact does and springs uh, doesn't mean anything so if you put a basic motion then contact and other things springs uh, will show up because basic motion is realistic scene motion but animation is not realistic so that's why so we do have also motion analysis if we don't have motion analysis the analysis part will not come here so make sure to go I already selected here I, I already selected tools and add in select add in and then uh, and then this motion analysis is selected okay this one so it looks motion it's selected that's why it's already but in some cases you may not find this in in your tutorial in your SOLIDWORKS software okay so when you do that so uh, so now I will see the, that I, I can see that what component the contact between the rocker is connected here there is another contact here between this component there is one spring between these two there is a motor here okay these are applied and these standard mates are also applied uh, during motion simulation okay now what we do is let's do this current configuration let's calculate okay and you see this message click yes play speed of frame okay when the rocker moves this will move down okay now we will get a contact plate so if you go to the result and Let's move around this one. Select force, the result you want to see. Contact force, and we'll say magnitude, and we'll select the magnitude, not that one. We'll select contact between these two, okay? And then just click OK. Now we will see a plot like this. It says the reaction force 
from 0 to 24, it varies as we move, as we rotate, okay? Okay, that's basic, the basic of motion analysis, okay? Mm. Reaction force, you can also delete, click that, the force, contact, right? Make sure that you do the same, or you have another option. Let this, select this, okay. So it floods the reaction force. Now what we're going to do is we copy this, right click copy, and let's rename this to 2000. Okay, now we'll be changing the speed of the motor and see what happens, what the contact force looks like. Okay, so let's zoom here, plus sign, to see the time, already that's set for the, the 1200, so if we zoom, now you can see you can pull this up to see here. Okay. Now I will right click here, edit. Okay, and then I'll change the speed. It's constant speed from twelve hundred to two thousand. Okay, RPM. And already this face is selected to be the motor. Okay. Speed is changed now. Now I will hit calculate. Okay. Moves. Finished. Now the plot. Okay. The plot looks like different. It's different than the before. Uh, the reaction force sharp at some point but loses in the intermediate point okay and again you can check the plot uh, you can select plot uh, force contact this surface and this surface. Oh, okay, I think if I select this, oh, I have, so it will isolate the two differently. Can I select this? Okay, and then it's okay. It didn't take it. Okay, let me select that force contact. Magnitude plus this face, then this interface. Okay, yeah, so it works. Well, I, I have to select only one of them. Okay, so that's the uh, by changing this, we can get the contact force. Okay, that's it. You can explore further by using, you know, what kind of contact they have done in the tutorial. For example, edit the surface roughness, steel, steel, dry friction, and the friction coefficient. Everything, the the type of contact between the surface is set here. Basically, if you right click here, edit. 
Now still, still, material is selected in this case, okay? And another thing is the spring stiffness. So the valve is not in contact most of the time when we change the speed. So what ha now the spring is very weak, so we just change the spring stiffness and again simulate. Okay. So let's do edit the spring stiffness. So right now it is 0.1. We will make the 10. Okay? Okay. Okay, now the spring stiffness is changed. Now we will calculate. See? Now the force will be, profile will be different. The reaction force will be high throughout the time when it rotates because the spring is strong and it push against and there will be in contact between these two okay so this is very essential and a good example of simulation in uh, the solid works okay that's it